Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a capsule series selection. Today, we are going to dive into a beautiful list of fragrances. I'm going to introduce you guys to my autumn top 10 most anticipated. This is going to be a fragrance list of things that I feel and believe that I'm going to be reaching for ultimately the most in my collection when it comes to my blend series. I'm going to be reaching these for just business, leisure, leisure, evening elegance, nights out, and daily wear throughout the fall of 2024 nonstop. These are 10 fragrances that I want to introduce back to you. You've heard them on my channel before. I have a couple unique ones that you may have not heard a lot about, but they are very much so in my rotation. Some may be particularly new, and then some may be three to four years old. I want to bring back into the rotation and really get those scents around me to come back to where it was when I was purchasing those scents with those scent memories, and that's going to come off phenomenal for me. Um, these are scents that have some great attributes. They're going to be woody. They're going to be fougere style. They're going to be um, floral. They're going to be sheepless, and they're going to be ultimately oriental and musky. Now, these are 10 great fragrances I think you guys should stick around and listen to because I have some bangers for you. So if this sounds like the type of content you think that you'll enjoy, pull up a seat pour glass and of course let's enhance Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactory sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scents, cigars, and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. We're going to dive right in. I just dropped a nice little list um, last week with some great attributes to it, and today I'm dropping a, a couple videos for you guys to get some very great, great content out to you guys. Um, this one, this particular list coming off of my capsule selection last week and then off of my console conversation earlier today, I want to talk about the top 10 autumn fragrances for 2024 that I'm most anticipating wearing. I'm going to give this to you in a very um, neutral way. I'm not going to separate this between top 10 from 1 to 10. I'm going to give this to you in family of uh, attributes and the way these scents come off. So I'm going to give you very great woody fragrances to start out and the ones that I have in my collection that I'm most anticipating wearing I'm going to give you two of each and the woody fragrance that I love on my skin that is creamy spicy velvety smooth and ready to wear for fall is going to be a banger that is my most complimented fragrance from the house of Clive Christian now and it's one I didn't think it would be. I thought it would be uh, blind amber from what I'm wearing and my wearing process of my fragrances over the summer, springtime, when I picked it up in the summertime. I'm very much so finding that the scent of Clive Christian Town and Country is one of those woody fragrances that really has a very rich, multifaceted, um, and nuanced just attribute that comes off phenomenal for me as a wearer. This is a scent that has a lot of amber in it, a scent that has some very beautiful aromatic sage. The woody compounds are sandalwood and cedarwood. It's a phenomenal scent done for the house of Clive Christian. It's so strong in its character. Elegant, very, it's, it's sweet, aromatic and dry. Just what you want in a woody fragrance. The main components of this one are just sweet, aromatic, and dry. And it's very much so one of the sexiest fragrances from the House of Clive Christian. It comes off almost to me like one of the most simple yet dynamic fragrances that I've smelled in a very long time. The simplicity comes from it just being something of an aromatic sage, but everything about this, the ingredient compounds, make this so much better than just something like a, a Rouse Club or something like a, a any designer fragrance. I won't say that they're bad. I won't say that this contrast is so greatly than them, but you can tell the quality of oils, the scent profile, the evolution. That's always one thing about high quality ingredients. The way a perfumer is able to use those ingredients and make them come off the skin is just so much better and inflict a certain amount of character that you want to contribute to the world. Clive Christian is one of those woody fragrances. Very powerful, very strident. It's enveloping of the wearer and it's very, very sexy for me to wear. And I love wearing this one. I cannot wait to put it on my skin this particular fall. So once again, the scent of Clive Christian Town and Country, one of my top two woody fragrances for the fall of 2024. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hit you guys. Like I said, I'm, I'm eager to get some of these fragrances that have been in my collection for months and years at a time back into my rotation. I see that Leighton has left the limelight. That means it's time to bring Leighton back into the limelight with my particular video list. Leighton is one of those fragrances. It's one that's just been on the market as a head turner for a reason. And you cannot stop 
thinking about it when you wear it it's one that has when it comes to woody aromatics it's one of the very best it is a scent that has so much invigorating use to it so much sporting use to it it's it's masculine it's virile it's universally you know loved by everyone it's aromatic it's stimulating it's one that has all these components to it but what it comes down to to me what i love about this one is the woody components along with that spicy cardamom and that lavender that they use it perfumes de marley man it's ambery sweet it's fresh it's something that it has an intensity to it that just is a great sillage behind you and a great projection it has all these wonderful aromatic woody components to it that i just love in the fragrance and it is one of the classics of perfumery when it comes to modern day classic men's wear so for me i can't wait to bring back out layton from the house of perfumes de marley i'm happy to bring this back into my list i'm happy that it's kind of taking a step back and just coming out of people rotation or the people's conversation or out of the zeitgeist because for me now i can say to you guys look put on layton let's see what it goes for because when i wear it out it's always a head turner it's you would think that because frag comments made this one of those darling fragrances that the world knows about it not true at all when you wear this particular scent it comes off with a mile long of sillage it comes with projection it comes with sweet tonalities woody aromatic tonalities and that makes it a ultimate business leisure fragrance for a gentleman in the fall and i'm about to love what it does for me in the fall of 2024 so once again the next one on this aromatic woody kick that i'm going into for those two fragrances town and country latent classics can't wait to put it back on my skin Ladies and gentlemen, next up, when we come off of that aromatic woody style, that's more of an aromatic, you know, I've talked about the Clive Christian with the sage, I talked about the lavender of Layton. Now we want to go into the very rich, compactful woody um, of fragrances, woody spicy styles. Very much so, everything about this is elegant gentlemen, and this is the House of Creed's exclusive line. Go figure, Creed has an exclusive line, but the exclusive line from Creed, this is spice and wood. This is all about nutmeg, vetiver, clove, allspice, cedar, a very beautiful apple in the opening with some nice forest that makes it for a powdery effect inside this particular scent. This here is one of those fragrances that just turns heads too, man. It's, if you ask me nowadays, the way Creed has transformed their line after selling off to the conglomerates, some of the fragrances that are cataloged from, from yesteryear, you want to start getting your nose and getting them to see your collection. This one here is a bit expensive than the more um, accessible collection. I can't remember what I paid for this, but I remember getting it back then. And if something for Creed was 300 then, this one was like 600 So it's a very expensive fragrance. But what has been worthwhile wearing in my collection has been one of those great fragrances that has a lot of strong character. It's sensuous. It's alluring it's elegant it's one that has a lot of purpose behind it when you wear it because it brings about a very strengthful character what i love about this one is the woody components of cedar wood the very dry nature of the vetiver they use the very spicy nature of the allspice clove and nutmeg and it just comes off wonderful with all of the might that creed can put into a fragrance or used to put into a fragrance very well blended woody dry sexy spicy you can't get enough of the spice and wood from the House of Creed. Very much so anticipating wearing this particular scent, 2024, bringing it back out to collection, guys. Just leathery, slightly leathery. It's not far, I'm going to introduce that fragrance later, but it's not off too far from spicy, lavender driven scents that have the leathery component. This one has a slight, slight leathery component going through the, the you know what they now, they're not talking about the nose structure, but it has a slightly leathery component going through it. Just as phenomenal. It's a dry fragrance, quite alluring, dry, elegant, sexy, woody, and masculine at the end of the day. So, Spice and Wood by House of Creed is part of the woody collection. Next up, when it comes to woody fragrances, Spice and Wood. Now we got Sacred Wood. Exactly what you want. Dryness, sweetness, allure, elegance. These two fragrances, they're very much so juxtaposition. One is warm balsamic, sacred wood. One is spicy and overtly sensual, yet compelling enough to wear into elegant um, surroundings. Sacred wood is a meditative scent. Sacred wood is one that I've introduced to you guys. This is my second bottle of it. A phenomenal cocooning fragrance that comes off balsamic, rich. Sacred wood refers to the sanctity and serenity of 
cedar and the use of sandalwood, Mysore sandalwood. It's very sweet. It's balsamic from Tolu balsam. It has some amber and musk inside of it. It has some carrot seed inside of it. So it has these alluring components with a little bit of the offbeat into your path that you're going to wear throughout the fall time. But when it comes to an introduction to sweet serenity as something that's calming and, and just when you're with your loved one and they're just trying to be sensual and they want something that just draws them in and just make the effect of that um, encounter even more special since like sacred wood have done that phenomenally it's one that has these peculiar notes like i said it opens with a little bit of that amber musky scent and that carrot seed the opening is not the most phenomenal of all openings but once it starts to dry down with the milky creamy faucets of sandalwood and that tolu balsam and even this copabiba balsam it's one of those fragrances that just smells smoky alluring sweet sensual but still tranquil and has a lot of serenity to it and the, the opening for our, however it is something that has a peculiarity to it it's not one that stays long when you spray, spray it the opening is there maybe about three or four minutes with that carrot seed and it blends well into the fragrance it makes it what it is it makes it a unique fragrance that is not redundant on the market i've yet to smell anything quite like sacred wood in my journey of smelling over four thousand fragrances now this is not something that i've smelled repeatedly redundantly and it's very much so a compelling fragrance because i bought two bottles of it and it's just, it's sweet, it's elegant, it's dry, but it still has this warm balsamic touch to it that's gonna be alluring. And like I said, it's a cocooning fragrance that has an aura around you that very much so invites that lover into your bubble and just wants to be there, cuddle up under some blankets and just comes off well. So once again, the second in the woody, woody fragrances, you know, outside the aromatics at first, now this is the woody, now we're gonna to go to a different level. But the second in the woody compounds, this is sacred wood. Next up, gentlemen, I hope that I can convince you guys to get to these Sheepers. <clears throat> I know that for many of us, the Sheeper is not one that's a calling card. It's not one that's very much so talked about. It's a few of us as collectors and a few of us are, as what we think of ourselves as aficionados and, and connoisseurs of the game, really much so can pick up what a beautiful Sheeper is. There's plenty on the market from Diaghilev to, you know, uh, it, even Aventus is a Sheeper. But when it comes to the real um, enveloping sheep were that cody made first to be something that was to smell like a fern there are certain essences around that particular note structure that comes off so elegant so um en enveloping of uh, sophistication so enveloping of complexity it's intense they're actually traditional in the way that they smell most times and it's actually one that I'm seeing more and more modern takes on it. And this is one that you have here is a modern take on it done by Jordi Fernandez. And this is Benias by the House of Whittian. I love what this particular scent does. This is one of those scents that I said I got a few years back and I just, I love what this scent does. I don't put it on my channel as much as um, some other fragrances, but I wear this fragrance a lot. It's a beautifully done sheeper fragrance with a lot of oak moss, a lot of patchouli, a lot of lavender, artemisias in this one, some geranium. So what it is, it's a classic leaning, to me, it's a classic leaning masculine sheep room that has some sweet floral essences to it that very much so create this elegant effect around you. It's singular in its notion of elegance. And that's what I love about Banayas. It's one that very much so gives you a generous feel about you. It, it brings people into your bubble and creates that generous, almost like when you're, you're out and around the public and you have a, a sense of people that want to approach you or you want to approach people, there's some fragrance that could be a standoff. It's like a strong animalic. This one here has some very sweet, spicy, woody accords to it with the floral sweetness, but it's the oak moss that ultimately um, creates this aura around you of a gentleman, a sophisticated gentleman that has this timely classicness about him, timeless classiness about him. And this is one that very much so brings about that essence. Benayas is a great scent. It opens with the bergamot and lavender, slightly aromatic, very beautiful and enveloping around the oak moss that stays throughout the entire use of the fragrance. The geranium comes up in the mid at about a 20 minute mark. Chris is slightly floral, uh, rosy effect to it. If you're a gentleman and you're used to wearing florals or used to wearing rose, at least this is not something that will scare you off. The oak moss is very green. It's very herbaceous. It's slightly, um, it, it's a it's a multifaceted feel to the way the oak moss comes off because it has 
the traditional oat milk spiciness, but still at the same time, the floral components make it a little bit of subduedness. And then it also has the complexity of a oud note inside of this one. So Benias is one of those fragrances that I don't think many of us should sleep on. Get samples of it, see how it feels on your skin. Get some other reviewers on your, to see what they're saying about this one. I haven't really listened to anyone else on this one. I sampled this one, I knew I wanted it. Um, but I, it's, it's one of those scents, Benias, is a Wittian production. Wittian does some great, great fragrances. They have a great lineup um, all the way from the um, London to New York to Healy to Lewa to Manias, and they make some beautiful fragrances. And this is one that I love having in my collection. It actually is gonna be my scent of the day today. It's Friday, I'm gonna chill, relax, I want a Shepra, and I'm gonna reach for the scent of Benias. It's a Shepra fragrance that I think all gentlemen should have some type of Shepra in their classic collection. And for me, of 2024, this is the one I'm gonna pull for ultimately in my anticipation, and I know I'm gonna be doing it. So Benias by the House of Woody. Next up in the Sheepra fragrances, I'm gonna hit you with a classic. A classic that many of you know about, many of you have heard about. This is a house that is not a slouch. This is MDCI, this is Sheepra Palette 10. To my guy, you know I got much love for my guy over there, Quaid, man, I always shout you out. This is for my guy, Mr. North. Mr. North is one who uh, loves this classic fragrance just as much as I do. Sheeper Palatine is a beautiful Sheeper pra fragrance that has a lot of galbanum greenness in the open, a little bit of hyacinth florality, mandarin orange, then goes to this beautiful rose jasmine gardenia scent in the heart, and then it ultimately dries down to the um, the Sheeper essences of castorium, woody patchouli, oat moss, styrax, and a little bit of benzoin. So it's a very, very sleek, multifaceted fragrance to have, man. <laughs> One of those scents. Once you get in your nose, you're like, damn, what I'd have put on? Tenacious, just tenacious Bertrand du Chauffeur, a classic master perfumer who has a nose to make some of the best scents on the market. This one is a traditional and timeless sheep word that has a lot of persistent sophistication behind it. And very much so, each and every evolution of this scent on your skin that has the great amount of projection and sillage comes off well. It opens, like I said, the green galbanum. It has a little bit of labdanum, galbanum and labdanum in the opening. So two almost particularly well done mid and base notes are in the opening. Come on, it's very, very rich, rich, very distinctive, very distinguished. It has a mid note of plum, gardenia, iris, jasmine, and rose. It goes into that tolu balsam and osmanthus and uh, oak moss and immortelle in the base with a little bit of leathery styrax. The benzoin is special in this one as well. Like I said, man, this is one, if you want to talk about a transitioning genre, sheepers are the, the genre to meet our genre when it comes to transitioning on the skin because each note structure of a sheep is one that is, they're trying to beat the original. And each person, if they're really an artist, they're trying to do something to beat the original. And that's Cody's original who we got. And this one here, man, is just a phenomenal scent. This is Bertrand du Chauffeur's magnum opus to me. So MDCI, Sheeper Palette 10. Can't wait to start wearing it in my rotation for 2024 autumn. Just, I'll be a head turner, man, special. Very special, sophisticated, elegant, content, I mean, co complex and intense. Just all the att attributes you want for cheaper fragrance. Cheaper palette. Next up, guys, we're going to talk about Orientals. Orientals, great selection to have. We're going from aromatics to woodies to sheepers. Now we're doing the very special oriental fragrances and these are ones to have in your collection when you want that sensual feeling. And what better to reach for than Amber Time by the House of Surgery Times. This is a sweet, rich, labdanum, vanilla, benzoate based fragrance with a lot of um, patchouli, some balsam, sandalwood, angelica is a very fine attribute to this particular scent. This is a sexy, mysterious, and seductive fragrance that becomes more and more exotic the more it goes on your skin. Surge of Times is, like I said, one of those fragrances before. It's a classic fragrance that everybody tries to reach and meet. And Surge of Times made a classic, classic fragrance with Amber So Time. It's very sweet, it's seductive, it's, um, it's actually one that 
creates a lot of comfort as well so it's a very comfortable sensual fragrance and this one here is done by the use of like i said a sweet balsamic labdanum with vanilla cyan benzoin it has a greenness inside of this one as well it creates that complexity from a, uh, a bay leaf or a laurel a lot of balsam some angelica like i stated coriander is a nice spice that's added into this one that gives off a little bit of a um, a freshness when it opens up and it's very much so a sexy sexy fragrance very much so one of those that you refer to as old you know kind of like an old oriental but when it comes to that you love classic perfumery when it comes to ambers because some of those first ambers are the ones that did it right sweet enveloping warming affirming sensual and alluring that's what you get when kind of attributes to the particular scent of Amber Sultan by the house of Surgeon Tank. Sexy, sweet, can't wait to put it on my skin in the fall of 2024. Amber Sultan by the house of Surgeon Tank is a fantastic amber fragrance. Next up guys in the ambers, we're going to talk about a classic from Dior. Francois de Marche, Amber Nuit, classic, soft, rich, woody amber fragrance, phenomenal every year every year every year everyone's going to talk about it everyone's going to believe in it everyone's going to want this rich seductive fragrance on their skin and why not me i love a sensual amber i love a rose based affirming sweet floral amber i love what amber nui does it's got a cult following for a reason it's one of those classic great amber fragrances with some rose some cedar wood sandalwood mixture and some patchouli in there gives off a slight slight soft spiciness a little bit of a powdery feel to it but when it comes down to it being on your skin elevating you making you feel elegant mysterious affirmative sexual and seductive amber nui by the house of dior is just that fragrance it's rich it's warm it's cozy it's you know it has a little bit of uh, audaciousness to it a little bit of audacity to be something more than what you would expect it to be and it moves with you it has a well, just um, phew. when you talk about the scent of amber nui many have tried to copy it many have come close but it never really reaches the phenomenon that Amber Nui has. It's just one of those fragrances, just a classic for a reason. And I enjoy wearing this particular scent. And in 2024, I can't wait to get this exotic smelling fragrance on my skin. It comes off, like I said, slightly sweet, warm, powdery, peppery with that amber. And that rose comes in. It's a rich, warm rose. It's not something that's jammy. It's very spicy, almost like a taif. And then it goes with that spiciness in the wood accords. This warm, rich fragrance done for the House of Dior from its original mate, um, master perfumer, Francois de Marche, will always be a classic for us. And this is always going to be a classic wear for me. And I can't wait to wear it in 2024 as my amber fragrances go. Because as I stated, these are the compelling fragrances that make a very sensual impact on anybody. And Amber Nui is a classic that's done it right. Ambry, sweet, seductive, sensual, love it. Can't wait to put it on my skin. Once again, the yours Amber Nui. Ladies and gentlemen, last on this list, I'm gonna talk about the attributes and the seduction behind leather fragrances, and the two I have for you are gonna come off phenomenal. First off, I wanna talk about the floral, sweet, calming effect of Roger Parfum's perfumery and blending prowess. He made Great Britain, and Great Britain is a beautiful Russian leather style of fragrance that's very, um, floral, powerful, slightly unusual, but it's very much so classic in the way it's done. It's punchy, it's elegant, and it is one that I cannot wait to put on my skin in the fall. It's one of those scents, man. It's just Roja. You know, many of you guys have asked me what is my favorite house. I have a very much so allure to what Zerzhov does, and I'm above all. Roja Parfums and the way that he makes his fragrances call to me as a consumer and every time I pick up one after you know wearing the testers or wearing the samples that I picked up they always just make me feel rich elevated and powerful this one here is a beautifully done Russian leather fragrance with some rose and violet some beautifully done jasmine some musk accords it's rich it's a noble smelling fragrance and that's what I love about Russian Parfums man he makes some of these fragrances especially his um his larger size 100 mil bottles out he doesn't really you know put them in the categories like that but the ones that come in 100 mils the um the things like these square 100 mils i'll be specific not the ones with the gold permanent cap but the ones with the purple caps the ones like the de la nuit number three the ones um nua they, you know all these fragrances man he has a very rich hand in making perfumes and this one here great britain man it's 
The violet mixed with the rose creates this phenolic gasoline-like leather that we love and things like Fahrenheit, but it's so much more elevated. And I just love wearing it. Like I said, it, it gives a sense of nobility. It's punchy, it's slightly unusual, it's smoky, it's floral. It's a powerful fragrance that two, three sprays of this one, and I can be an oversprayer and I could never overspray this because it gonna give you a headache conducing um, <laughs> type of environment. But this one here, sweet, seductive, just a silent killer when it comes to attraction to women. Great Britain. It's a beautiful fragrance and I cannot wait to put this on my skin in 2024. It's one that's going to take me and drive me deep into the winter time, but it's, it's quite uh, a bit of a warmer weather leather that can be worn. It's one that you can even put into the peaks of summertime in the evening if you're wearing something like a, uh, a nice little um, linen blazer or something like that. It's going to wear fine, but when it comes to fall wear, the scent of Great Britain is going to go off phenomenal for me and I can't wait to put it on my skin. I love the rich profile. I love the punchiness. I love how it stands out in the crowd. I love what it does for me on my skin and I cannot wait to wear it in the fall of 2024. Beautiful scent. Love it. Beautiful scent, man. Ladies and gentlemen, last on this particular list, these are 10 fragrances that I introduce you to and this one here is Le Leon. I am dropping a Connoisseur's Conversation. It may be with this in tandem, a video that you might see two drop, or I might just drop it the day after, but you're gonna know something about Le Leon after today and listening to my videos because Le Leon has really captured me as a sweet, smoky, beautiful, um, birch tarry, labdanum driven amber leather fragrance that is just a head turning stunner. And I know that this thing has a coat following, and I know it has a coat following now for a reason because it is one of the most sensual, sexy, sed seductive. Man, it's just a fragrance that you just got to get your nose on. It's one you hear a lot about it. It's not something that's shy on the market. You got a lot of people that follow the fragrance as a coat favorite, beauty people that give it accolades. This is an 8.2 on a 10 scale. And man, does it achieve that with grace because this is a sweet, powerful the birch tarry sweet leathery labdanum amber rich um patchouli lemon a, a mouthy lemon fragrance that has a lot of the attributes of a gentleman profile inside of it it's a scent that i'm going to say leans more masculine it's a scent that i'm going to see it's profound it's one that creates the ultimate aura of a gentleman around you and it's a non-stop performer and it is beautiful so once again the last on this list i'm not going to talk too much about this because i'm about to drop the connoisseur's conversation on it but get your nose on the most anticipated leather fragrance from either wear in 2024 lay leon by the house of chanel beautiful fragrance god man it's, it's it's fire it is it's fire patchouli lavender leather rich vanilla rich rich vanilla once again connoisseur's conversation coming so you're going to hear more about it Le Leon by chanel ladies and gentlemen that was my video for you guys today as always i hope that you guys found something entertaining and educational from this particular video today i'm just talking about my autumn top 10 anticipated fragrances these are fragrances that are in my collection and my collection for a reason is to be soft central warm and seductive while also being business-like and charismatic so for me i introduced you to 10 fragrances starting out with the aromatic the woody then i went off into the sheep rust, and then the ambries and then ultimately the leather fragrances from my collection that i most anticipate wearing I hope you enjoyed this particular list because I enjoyed getting it out to you guys. As always, drop a comment below. Let me know for each one of you in each one of these categories, what is your top one fragrance? What is your top fougere, your aromatic fougere? What is your top woody fragrance? What is your top leathery fragrance? What is your top ambery fragrance? And ultimately, if you have a sheeper, what is your best sheeper for fall 2024? Let me know below. Let everybody know below. Until next time and until next video, peace.